splitting firewood out. Sometimes it's awesome, but most of the time it's not. Sometimes you get into camp where it's late and you just wanna get your fire going and you're not gonna mess with firewood, but you still have to bring the firewood into camp. So you just grab it, drag it over, and then it's like, oh, now I gotta process this? No, no you do not. Now at this point we have a nice little fire going. It's really easy to grab sticks this size you know, break these down. The problem with this though, is that over time and overnight, you know, you're throwing these on all the time. They just burn up quick. And you're looking around and you're thinking, well, if I had bigger lumber or these logs, maybe I can't process them because I don't have an ax or a saw. Maybe I don't want to process them. I just want to keep this fire going. So it's easy. Grab the logs and pull them over to your fire. So at this point, I think a trick almost everybody knows is just to drag the wood on just like this over your fire, okay? What that's gonna do is allow us not to have to process this and just drag the wood on and time to burn. But that is not it. That's not the way to get this done the proper way. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with what I've just done, but normally what happens when we drag logs on like this is that they catch around the same time, they dry out the same time, so they're burning, and they normally die down around the same time. So many times what happens is we end up with a fire that has burnt logs coming in from each side, nothing in the middle because the fire went out, we just didn't feed it enough. So the best way to go about this is to stagger your wood. So I drug some wood in, from that side. I'm gonna give that about 15 minutes. There's no time frame, but I say about 15 minutes, 20 minutes to start burning and actually catch really well. And then we're gonna go on this side and we're gonna to start to drag wood in this way. That's gonna give us an ample supply of fresh wood into that fire. So when the flame starts to die down, we feed this side in more. When this dies down again, the next time we feed it from the other side. So feeding both sides is gonna keep that fire more sustained and more consistent throughout the evening, rather than just dragging all the wood in at once, getting the flames up real big, having them die down and having to push them in. So stagger that and you'll have a more consistent campfire throughout the night. Now I totally get it, like yeah, no shit, this is very common sense, it's that kind of thing like, well I do that sometimes when I'm at camp. But for those of you who have never done this, this is definitely a viable option if you don't have tools or you just don't want to process down that wood at night it's really easy to bring that in especially if you're at a camp that you gather wood and then it's like middle of night you're like oh, I didn't gather enough you don't have to wake everybody up processing wood sawing wood chopping wood just drag some logs over and lay them across the fire as they burn just feed them in if you stagger that feed it's gonna be more consistent if not I mean you'll still get through it's still gonna work just fine so give this type of fire a shot if you don't want to process anything down and you want to just be lazy, two thumbs up for that. So this was Dan Wallach of Coal Cracker Bushcraft. I hope you enjoyed this video. Quick tips, just little things out here in the woods that make somebody's life that much easier. Maybe it's not the best for you, but the next guy, it might be just genius for them. So as always, this was Dan Wallach of Coal Cracker Bushcraft. Until next video, stay in the woods with a consistent campfire.